so 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 Every photographer's nightmare, the reflective sunglass portrait. And this is what we're going to learn in this episode and to model first, the beautiful Kiki. Action! Well, one of the trickiest things about shooting a highly reflective mirrored sunglass like this is that you see your own ugly face in that photo. There are two ways you overcome this. Number one, don't have your face in the right reflection angle of the sunglass. Or number two, hide in the shadow that is dark enough to obscure yourself. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you how you hide in the shadow that is six stop darker than ambient. To do this, you need to know the ambient brightness of your own shooting studio. I have a light meter with me now on the mode of natural lighting. I set my ISO to 200, my shutter speed to 1 over 250th of a second below the sync speed breaking number. Hold it up, take a measurement of your ambient. My studio now is clocking in at f1 and to make my light six stop brighter, I need to ensure that whatever flash that I add on to my subject with the sunglass is at least f1.4, 2, 2.8, 4, 5.6 at f8, which means that my main light will be at least at f8. That will make sure that I'm not visible in the shadow. You know what? I always ensure I'm slightly higher. I'm even going at 7 stop, shooting at f11. That way, I will just disappear into the shadow like this. But the next task would be to figure out how far I should put the flag away from Kiki. Well, let's assume that I want to put this flag a comfortable three feet away from Kiki. And now we need to check our lightest cheat sheet. What is three feet? When I'm using a flag at a flash power of 1 over 8, at a camera ISO of 200, the F number will be F5.6. But I don't want to shoot at F5.6. I want to shoot at F11, remember? So that is now two stop higher than 5.6, which is F8 and F11. Simple. All I need to do now, based on Lighter's cheat sheet, put the flag three feet away from Kiki. It should be two stop higher than 1 over 8 of the power of the flash now. Increase the power to 1 over 4, 1 over 2. And that's the power of the flash to put it three feet away on a flag for Kiki. That's still another problem. When you are hitting flash on a flag, you won't know exactly which part of the flag is so big. Do you see those numbers on Kiki's sunglasses? That is induced by something that I have in front of my flag here. Let me show you what it is. This is what I want to introduce to you. A mirror reverse number quadrant written on a paper mounting board like this. What I do? I will put this on the flag and grab my butterfly clamp, clamp them down, and once I do this, I have numbers on my flag. So if you come to the front and look at Kiki's mirror sunglasses now, you will see that they have numbers everywhere, and that will tell me exactly where I can fire my flash based on these numbers. So if you look at this, I know that I want to hit the corner of that sunglasses and this is about number 2. Well, I know that I'm going to hit the flash at 2 and 3 because I want the specular highlight to be nice, so I just have to aim them here. Hit the flash here and I will get a beautiful edge when the photo appears. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, write in the comment section, tell us what you want to learn or you can email us at info at beyond.photos. Also, please head on to our website 
www.beyond.photos support our e-learning courses so that we can continue to make YouTube videos like this for everyone throughout the world. I'll see you in the next episode with more beautiful models, with more shiny sunglasses. Do you got the audio? Thank God, huh? the horn just went off. Oh hey, two more things before we end this episode. Well, not seeing yourself is kind of cool, but sometimes you still see things like studio floors on the sunglass reflection. Well, simple way, line the studio floor with black velvet cloth. Velvets are pretty good in not bouncing light, traps light. Another method you can use to prevent yourself from being seen in a photo shoot like such is to use a very long lens and go to the back of the studio and zoom into your subject. That way you hide in a 7 or 8 stop shadow. Make sure the studio lights don't hit you. With this number flag here, I know easily where to hit the flag. With this number here on the flag, I know exactly.